Mm. Mm. You need to aromatize the glass. Oh my God. It, it, it's cheese bread. It's so good. Oh, nice. That's really good pizza. Go with the Mexican chocolate. Really good. Hey folks, here tonight we are in the main dining room. What's really cool about the main dining room here on the Sky Princess, you see we're in a small space right here. So there is this, you know, there's a big massive dining room out there, but then they have all these little cubby spaces as well. That I, we we kind of feel like we're in just a regular old restaurant in here. So it's really, really nice. So the appetizers are out. I've got a goat cheese and some marinated vegetables that looks absolutely amazing. Rebecca went with the grilled prawns. In fact, she ate them so fast, I don't even get a chance to taste them. So you're not gonna see me eat them. How were they? Okay, she says they were yummy. <laughs> so a uh, little grilled vegetables. Oh my God, those are really good. And then I've got some goat cheese that I can have with it. So it looks like I've got some eggplant, like some zucchini, some, uh, some bell peppers, roasted. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, oh that is good goat cheese. You know what, this goat cheese would make an amazing grilled cheese is what it would do, yes. So second course is out. I actually didn't get anything for myself on the second course, but Rebecca has a beautiful looking Greek salad. How is that? No lettuce, it's all like tomato and peppers and cheese. Mm. All right, that's a great dressing. Mm. And then as we suggested in the past, if you want like a main dish as an appetizer, you can do that. Our table mate here, Bill, got the linguine and clam, but he asked for a smaller portion as an appetizer. So if you see like a couple main dishes that you really like to try, Ask them to bring out an appetizer size of one, and then you can have the entree size of the other. Entrees are out. I've got a gorgeous looking pork tenderloin right here in front of me. It smells amazing. Rebecca and Stacy both have a mahi-mahi over there. And Bill, some sort of a Caribbean seafood stew. It actually looks a lot like an Italian seafood stew. Absolutely gorgeous. So I have to say, the yes. main dining room is really impressing me with their plating and the presentation. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it's like, it's like, uh, what is it sitting on? It's sitting on like a quinoa or rice. Oh my goodness. So pork tenderloin, this is, I don't know if this is rice or a quinoa underneath. Mmm, that is really, really good. It's a little light oil around it. Some nice spices on there. This is the mahi mahi from uh, Rebecca. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Was oh, that pineapple? The uh, mahi mahi had like a pineapple mango salsa or something on top of there. Really nice. You know, I always say, look, for a main dining room, you know, most of the time you're going to get food that's good. It's not going to be the best, but it's going to be good. But uh, Princess Main Dining Room, I mean, it is a step above. This is real. This is like, I mean, it's like going to your local restaurant right here. It's a really good main dining room. So the final course, of course, we had to get dessert and Princess is well known for their souffles. If you if you are on a Princess ship and souffle is on the menu for dessert, you have to get the souffle. I don't know what it is about Princess. They make the best souffle. And I got a Mexican chocolate. Now, I don't really associate amaretto with Mexico, but they call this a Mexican chocolate. This is amaretto hot chocolate. Mmm, that's so good. That is like amazingly good. So if you see the Mexican hot chocolate, I don't know why it's called Mexican hot chocolate because it is amaretto, but oh my God, that's really good. <laughs> now it's time for the main event, the souffle. Oh my God, did you see the cream being poured in there? Oh my, oh my God. I just gotta dig down in there. So we've got so basically a Nutella. They said chocolate hazelnut. Nutella, they poured the hot cream on top of this. I mean, come on, it's a hot souffle. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Oh, that is so good. What a way to end our first meal on Princess in about five years. Absolutely amazing. So highly recommend the uh, chocolate. Definitely recommend the chocolate souffle. Absolutely. I mean, everything here was outstanding. We've been on five different cruises now since the restart. This is definitely the best main dining room experience of all the cruise lines that we've been on since the restart. Man, you could eat here all week long. You will not go hungry in the main dining room. Go with the Mexican chocolate. Really good. Hey folks, I'm Walter. Tonight we are in Sabatini's, which is a classic staple of Princess Cruise Line. Sabatini's has been around as long as we have been coming on Princess. That's almost 20 years now. Princess was our first three cruises. Sabatini's was always something I looked forward to. And now they have elevated it a little bit more. I'm really looking forward. This menu looks 
absolutely amazing. There's four of us here, so there's gonna be all kinds of food on the table pretty soon. Um, but if you've never been to Sabatini's on a princess ship, you owe it to yourself to go there. I'm saying that before we even eat. So I'm sure I'm gonna be saying more even when we get into this. I'm like so excited. This is the one thing I was really looking forward to when we came back onto Princess. Sabatini's Italian Trattoria. So when in an Italian restaurant, I usually go for the Chianti. Why not? Cheers, everybody. Cheers to all my friends at the table. Cheers to you. Thanks for following along on our little journey here. Mmm. Ooh, that's really good. So the first course is out, and he brought out some beautiful arancini. If you don't know, those are rice balls with cheese, and they are uh, deep fried. Plus, he brought out the most beautiful basket of bread I have seen all week. This is a flat fee restaurant, so that you just pay one price, and you order. Basically, it is one, two, three, it's five courses total with the arancini. And the arancini is provided, and you order one of the other four courses. Arancini ball with some cheese melting over there. Look at that. With the sauce. Oh, my God. Mmm. Really got a lot of melted cheese in there. Yes. Love that. Oh, my goodness. So Rebecca just let out a giggle. We have a little bun with a rosemary. <laughs> How cute is that? You rip it? Yeah, and by the way, as Italians, you just rip it. Don't get a knife out and cut it. Just rip the bread. <laughs> just rip it. Rip it and dip it. That's how we do it in Italy. So we've got a little balsamic and we got a little bit of uh, olive oil on the plate. It brought out. So you just rip it and dip it. That's good. Uh, that's really good balsamic. Wow. So I got basically a beautiful antipasta platter here. I've got mozzarella, I've got salami, I've got mortadella, I've got some artichoke hearts, I've got blue cheese, I've got other cheese. This is like an Italian paradise right here. Mmm. Mmm. I'm born and raised Italian in New York. This is good. Oh man, I got a little piece of uh, Parmesan here. Oh, I got a little piece of Reggiano Parmesan now. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Mmm. I feel like a kid back in New York. I am really, I mean, a lot of you may not get this. You know, it is just a plate of uh, basically cold cuts, you might think. But this is, uh, this is a slice of Italian heaven right here. Mmm. By the way, if you don't like your olives, just hand them to Rebecca. She will take care of your olives for you. Oh, some prosciutto, and I dipped it in the olive oil. I love olives. My sister hates them. She always puts them mm. sitting at the table. Show is it a panzanella that Rebecca got? She gave me a little piece of the shrimp as well. Well seasoned, well cooked, very nice. Now Bill, who's sitting to my left, liked the fried shrimp dish more than the panzanella. So he's saying that was head and shoulders. Now I think that shrimp was really, really good. So Bill says. The fried shrimp was head and shoulders above that, so that must be really good too. So you got plenty of choices for your first, I don't know, first course, second course. I don't know what course we're on. This is really good. We're on the second course. Thank you, Bill. Really, really good. Yum. So our salad course is now out. And before we go any further, this is a very relaxed meal. So in other words, it's taking some time. I don't know. Maybe we've been here about, an, well, we've definitely been here for an hour. Uh, this is probably going to be like a two and a half hour meal by the time it's all said and done. So if you have any reservations or you have something that you want to get to when you're coming to Sabatini, be sure to let the server know as soon as you sit down. They can hurry up the meal for you, but you got to let them know. Tell them as soon as you sit down so that they can go ahead and, and pick up the pace of the meal. But we are definitely having a very relaxed meal. Bill is telling some amazing stories. I wish you all were here to hear some of these stories because Bill is an amazing storyteller. So, but you will not have a bill at your table. We do. <laughs> Very simple salad. Mmm. I decided to do the salad because I figured it would be light. There's so much heavy food. You know, we got arancini. I had the cheese and the meat. I got a carbonara pasta coming. I've got chicken coming. So, I thought, you know what? Let's just have a little salad to keep something a little bit light. So, Rebecca got the ribolita soup. And how is that? Good. Awesome. And then all the rest of us got the salad. So Rebecca has more power than me, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> well, I wasn't, I wasn't going down that road, but... Okay, the pasta course is out, and I've got a pasta carbonara. Interesting discussion. 
on who has control, a producer or a director in television production, because you all know Rebecca is my producer, essentially. And yes, Rebecca has more control than the uh, man on camera, so. <laughs> but let's talk about pasta carbonara, what we really came here for. The creamy pasta with some bacon. Look at that, very rich, very rich sauce. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's good. That's a really good cream sauce. Oh, and then now Rebecca, Rebecca got a lobster tortellini. I thought about it. Look at that. Tortellini, there's like some lobster right in there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's ridiculous. The uh, carbonara is good, but if I were you, I would order the lobster uh, tortellini. I'm going to eat this carbonara and I'm really going to enjoy it, but I am going to be thinking about that lobster tortellini the whole time. That was amazing. Yeah. Bill says the classic linguine with clams was excellent. And I know Stacy's gonna say that the lobster tortellini was excellent because it is stupid good. But yay, look at that nice little piece of bacon on there. I love bacon, don't you love bacon? If you don't like bacon, oh yeah, Rebecca doesn't eat bacon. See, that's why we don't have bacon in the house. That is the one sad thing about living with Rebecca. We never have bacon. You can go buy bacon if you want. I'm I can go you. buy bacon. Rebecca, like, just go buy bacon yourself, dude. Turkey bacon, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy my bacon. I eat them when I eat. Main courses are out and we're all going ooh, ah, because Bill's got the osabuca and it is literally, they gave him a nice knife, he doesn't need it. It just completely fell apart. I've got the chicken scallopini. Rebecca has the brenzino. So it looks like this is a uh, chicken breast and a uh, sort of sauce here. I always forget what scallopini, what the sauce actually is. Chicken. Mm -hmm. For me, it's the weakest part of the entire meal. Not great, but it's not bad. Uh, I don't know, what do you think, Stacy? It's a little plain. Yeah, after everything that we've had, this entire meal's had so much flavor in it. This really doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually rather surprised. I thought it would be actually with a lot more flavor, but this is definitely the weakest part. This is the final course, uh, other than dessert. So Bill is saying that the uh, atabuco is, is amazing, but uh, what is that? Uh, is that a pasta or is that a mm, polenta? Rice. Like some rice? Mm -hmm. A rice, a very hard rice that went with it. Now this is Rebecca's Branzino. Just gave me a piece of it right there. So the fish is definitely better than the, uh, than the chicken. Well, the chicken's definitely a bit of a disappointment. So if you're coming here to Sabatini's, I would not recommend the chicken scallopini. Quite a few other things on that last course. So one thing I will say is we are approaching three hours on this meal and honestly there was no reason for it to run three hours. It was just very, very long gaps between the service. So just be aware of that. Um, if you've got anything going on, you may not want to come to Sabatini's or if you do, make sure you tell them that you have something going on. It's definitely been an unnecessarily long meal. <laughs> I guess so, yeah, maybe you just make up something you need to get to because seriously, we are coming up in about five minutes, we will have been here for three hours. And there was no reason to be here for three hours. It was just very long gaps in the service. So maybe make up something you have to get to so maybe they'll move along a little faster. <laughs> that would be our suggestion. Here we are once again at the Good Spirits Bar on the Sky Princess. Today we're making you a classic old fashioned, the first cocktail ever documented in the cocktail world. Just three simple ingredients of spirit, sugar and bitters. The bitters we're using is Angostura and Angostura is a mixture of, is a mixture of 50 different herbs and spices traditionally used as a medicine and is now famously used in cocktails. And, uh, and for our bourbon today, we're going to be using a Kentucky bourbon. Um, famously, it's got lots of oak flavor, kind of sweet with some vanilla notes. And what I'm doing right now may seem very strange to you. I'm diluting the sugar with a spoon and the flat side of the spoon in the bottom. In America, they will muddle an orange and a cherry, which does make the cocktail more sweeter and it makes it a bit more, I don't know, more more fruity per se. Uh, but this is how we do it in Europe. Um, it takes a very long time. A lot of bartenders will say, oh gee, just use just use sugar syrup, you idiot. Yes, you're absolutely right. You're adding, you're adding also adding dilution. 
which is also, you know, it, 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 it makes the cocktail less rich. Like if you're doing it with sugar, you're making it rich, full of flavor. You're not, you're not losing the, the flavor in the bourbon as well. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know, it, it takes a while, but I mean, the end result, I mean, just try it. The end result is just, look, it's like it's syrup. Look at that, it's like syrup. And then the beauty about an old fashioned, which makes it my favorite cocktail, is that as the cocktail dilutes with the ice, the, it's constantly changing the flavor, the bitters and the, and the bourbon opens up more and more. Um, I'm forever making a different cocktail for about 15, 20 minutes. And it's just a sipper, it's, it's a sipping cocktail. And look at that, I mean, I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of residue sugar in there, but a little bit like that. There we go. And we're going to oh, add in our ice. We would have the loudest thing going on out there. And now we're just, we're just uh, chilling, chilling the cocktail. S scoop it up a little bit to bring up the sugar at the bottom. And then add just a little bit more ice as it's diluted a little bit. A little bit more ice. And this is my favorite part of making an old fashioned. You need to aromatize the glass. Look at that. A chef tastes his work, always. <laughs> there you go. You're spraying the oils over the top. Get those aromas going. And there we have it. A classic, our old fashioned. I'm so excited I got to film that. See how amazing he made that old fashioned. This is my drink. This is my favorite drink in the entire world. Now when I get home, I'm gonna have to try to emulate what Elliot did. It will probably never come out near as well as his, but look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. It's so good. There is no other bar at sea that makes an old fashioned this good. No other bartender at sea that makes an old fashioned. I've been on eight different cruise lines. We've been on like, I don't know, 1920 cruises. This is the best old fashioned out there at sea, people. Good Spirit Bar, Sky Princess, look for Elliot. Cheers. We're back in the main dining room again. I gotta tell you, this main dining room is really, really good. And so tonight, uh, let's see, what did I get? I got a crab cake coming, I've got some gnocchi coming, and then actually, I saw some vegetarian meatballs with uh, like kind of done up Greek style that looked really interesting to me. So that's what we're gonna do. So here on the Sky Printed, back for more in the main dining room. So the appetizers are out. We've got our gorgeous looking crab cakes right here. So Rebecca and I actually both got the crab cakes. And then they got the tapioca appetizers on the other side, Bill and Stacy, our table mates. So much fun when you cruise with friends, it really is. Even new friends. All right, crab cake all fried up there. That looks beautifully fried, doesn't it? Mmm. Mmm, that is a really good crab cake. Oh, yum. I know the sauce is kind of like a... Remoulade. A remoulade, that's what it is, a remoulade. Really good. Stacy, Stacy for the win. She remembers that it's a remoulade. Yes! This is really good. All right, the pasta course is out and literally we all got the gnocchi. <laughs> they had a gnocchi with a cream sauce. That looked really good. These are cooked nice. They're not like overcooked and mushy. You got some gnocchi right there with some cream sauce. Oh my gosh. The sauce is not as flavorful as I'd like it. He added to it, Rebecca's like, I like it. But this is my show. And I say it's not quite as much flavor in there as I like. Gnocchi is actually really nice, cooked perfectly. They're made well. The sauce kind of hits me with flavor and then it just kind of peters out. The princess makes really good pasta. They make really good bread. So, you know, anytime you see a pasta on the menu or you see a good bread dish on the menu, mm, definitely go with the pasta and the bread. Yum. All right, main courses are out. And I went, you know, I went different. I went with a vegetarian Greek meatball. And so obviously not real meat, and it looks like what they did, they actually kind of fried it uh, in, uh, in a batter where they put the stuff together, almost like a knish kind of a thing. So this should be interesting. Then they gave me the tzatziki sauce, you know, like a, like a gyro, 
or a gyro. We call them gyros in Syracuse. I don't know. I don't know where the gyro came from. All right, so I've got a Greek vegetarian meatball with the tzatziki sauce. Interesting. It tastes like a potato. It looks like potato. Could be potato. Yeah, it could be potato. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it might be a duck. It's really good. Um, the, the potato itself could use a little bit more salt, but that tzatziki sauce is really nice. And then they've got some olives down here on the side with uh, tomatoes and whatnot. So the, uh, the olives are definitely going to add a little extra salt to it. Mm. Okay, those are really good olives. I gotta say the quality of the vegetables and like the antipasta items on the uh, on the ship have been amazing. So it's almost like some grilled eggplant. Oh, that's delicious. Yum. So yeah, if I kind of mix the meatball with the other things that are around it, it's much better. So if you get this, it was again, it was called a Greek vegetarian meatball, something like that. Mix the meatball with the other things. Mm. So Rebecca got a salmon with a beurre blanc sauce. Man, it's cooked beautifully. Mm. Okay, that's like getting salmon from a specialty restaurant. It really is. That's really good. Yum. Cooked brilliantly. So they got the duck and the, and the tenderloin on the other side of the table, and they are saying very good. Now the main dining rooms have been really good on the ship, but it, it, sometimes it's a little bit of a cluster lining up before the meal. Uh, especially if you do this yellow dining room, which is the one in the back. There's very little room for people to actually line up because it's kind of like its own little lobby. So I will mention that. Uh, but just, you know, just deal with it. As long as you make a reservation, you're going to get your table. But just be aware, when you come into that lobby area, there might be a bunch of people there waiting as well. The sun is setting beautifully outside and we have dessert. So I have something called a chocolate hazelnut bar or something like that. You can see the graphic. And Rebecca has a creme brulee. Stacy went with the love boat uh, thing. It's a cute little heart. And we got Peach Melba over there by Mr. Bill. Rebecca has the creme brulee, nice. Like multi-layered, nice little, nice little curved piece of uh, chocolate there. That is nice, that dark chocolate on the very top. Nice little, like a uh, like a crust down there on the bottom. There you go, there, there's a nice cross section of it. Really pretty, it's really good. What I like about it too, it's a nice small portion. All of these desserts are small, so I'm liking that. The uh, creme brulee from Rebecca. Mmm, tasty, it's a little softer probably than it should be. A little bit more liquidy, but the flavor, Spot on, really good. So four good desserts out here for the main dining room. Two nights now, this is a good dining room. Ending it with a little cappuccino, you can't tell anymore, but they made little balloons, because you know, this is a sky princess, so there's a lot of references to the sky all over the ship, so. Excellent meal so far, princess has uh, continued to impress us, especially with the main dining room. The food has been good all around the ship. So if you're coming on Sky Princess, you will not go hungry in the main dining room. Cheers, everybody. So it's lunchtime and we are in Alfredo's Pizzeria. This is an included uh, restaurant in your cruise fare. However, it feels like specialty dining. I mean, they've got the pizza ovens right there as soon as you come in. They sit you down for lunch. So it's really nice. It's like an elevated uh, complimentary dining experience and it feels like something you should be paying for. Pizzas are all made to order. You can either take something right off the menu or you can alter it. You can remove things, add things, or just come up with your own pizza. I mean, if you walk over there to where they're doing the pizzas, you can see all the ingredients they have. They're really fun folks over there. So this is an elevated pizza experience for sure. We've been to included pizza joints on other cruise lines and this is a restaurant. Like we're sitting down in a nice restaurant. And I can tell you from our first experience, we had the eggplant, uh, we had the antipasta, <laughs> And then uh, the pizza that we had the first time was really, really good. All right, I got my little salami antipasta out here. Salami, I got some prosciutto on here. And I got some shrimp salad in here too, so yay. Mm-mm-mm, good prosciutto. Again, it does not feel like it's a, um, a complimentary restaurant. I feel like I'm eating in a specialty dining restaurant. This, is, this could be one of my favorite included venues on any cruise ship. It's just so good. Getting pizzas out, and Stacy got this really cool baguette that's sort of kind of like a tuna melt. It's got tuna on it, it's got cheese on it. I can't remember the name of this pizza, but it's got shrimp on it. 
and it's supposed to come with mussels, but Rebecca doesn't like mussels, so we said, hey, no mussels. So look at that, look how pretty that is. Look at that, nice, nice little crust underneath, super thin crust, hand toss, hand thrown, hand stretch, all that good stuff. Oh my gosh, that's That's really good pizza. Printos is known for having good pizza. Now there's still Slice. Slice is the pizza joint that's up on the pool deck. So they have Slice up by the pool and then they got Alfredo's down here. They're both included with your cruise fare. Look at that crust, huh? Mm, crust is perfect. Mm, mm, mm. I'll have to look up what this was. It is like a, it's like a fancy little tuna melt. There we go. So it's tuna on a baguette with some cheese, some tomatoes, some onion. Mmm. It is like an elevated tuna melt. If you like tuna melt, this is like an elevated version of that. Really, really good. So they do have dessert as well that's included. I mean, they got a tiramisu and a few other things. We're just gonna skip that. But Alfredo's Pizzeria, truly amazing on the sky princess. Come here once, come here often, and try some pizza, try some sandwiches. They even have calzones. I still got a couple more days. I could try a calzone, maybe tomorrow. And one of your included food venues is going to be the World Fresh Marketplace. That is your buffet. It's a very large buffet area. Plus they have the Horizon Bistro in the front, which is kind of an extension of the buffet. Now what's amazing about this buffet is that it is really fresh. I mean, you can tell everything is fresh prepared. It is really good. They have a lot of variety. Now what I'm showing you on the video right now is just one lunch service. This is, this is not multiple days of a lunch. This is just one day at lunch, all the variety that they're serving that day. And my favorite thing, honestly, they have these cheese stations and there's a wheel of blue cheese at all of the cheese stations. I love blue cheese. And you just never know what you're gonna see when you come out there. Like I, I found this thing called uh, beef and Guinness pie, which is like a pot pie. Got uh, some beef underneath there, which obviously made with some Guinness beer. It reminds me of being a kid with my mom having a pot pie. But you will not go hungry. You could easily eat breakfast, lunch, dinner here at the World Marketplace. You will not go hungry. You will find things that you like in here pretty much every day. You might get a little bored with breakfast because, you know, it's the same breakfast pretty much every day. But at lunch and dinner, they definitely rotate some new items in here. Even more so than other cruise lines we've seen, Princess has impeccable labeling on all of their food, including whether an item has meat products in it, if it has wheat, if it has gluten. So on most cruise lines, you know, if you have allergies and things, you want to ask for the chef to come out and talk to you and walk you through. But here on Princess, at least here on the Sky Princess in the buffet, you can probably pretty much walk through the entire buffet and see if there's going to be an issue with an allergy, a food preference, a dietary restriction. They've done a really nice job with that. Then there's the staff that's in here too. They are on it. When you sit down, would you like some coffee? Would you like some water? Would you like some more juice? Would you like that? I mean, they are there ready to serve you. So if you sat down and you didn't get any coffee, oh, they're gonna, just gonna go get the coffee for you. They're just incredibly friendly and they're bringing- Can they drink for you? Uh, yeah, water please. Ice water? Yeah, just, just a water. Thank you. Exactly what I was just saying. He just popped in as I was doing this and said, do you need a drink? Because I don't have a drink sitting here. The staff has been so attentive, so friendly, and so on it. And honestly, I forgot what that was like. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. That's my pleasure. Thank you. The World Fresh Marketplace on Sky Princess. If you go hungry, it's your own dang fault. There's a lot of really good food up here. Definitely a buffet where you could have breakfast, lunch, dinner every single day and be happy. Hey folks, back on the Sky Princess and today's lunch is going to be the Ocean Terrace Seafood Bar. This is a sushi restaurant. This is an upcharge. They are open for dinner every night and then on sea days, they're open for lunch. This is an unexpected sea day, so we're going to go ahead and enjoy some rolls, some sashimi. All right, the uh, nigiri courses come out, which is, you know, raw fish with rice. And the, uh, the four piece comes with the scallop, but Rebecca didn't want the scallop, so she had them replace it with shrimp. But this is the shrimp nigiri. Shrimp nigiri, good. I'm doing it with my fingers. Rebecca's doing it with her chopstick. I went to lunch with some folks one time and they just kind of did it with their fingers, so that's what I'm doing. This is a white fish. I'm not sure which fish this is. That's the salmon. That's good. I'm gonna get the salmon. Mm. I may have said salmon on the last one that was actually tuna. This is the salmon. <laughs> really good. 
So salsa lesson about to start down below. So this is the view when you're sitting here. You've got the whole piazza right behind you when you're sitting here. A lovely view of everything going on. Oh my goodness. And there's my next roll. Thank you. Uh, for the rolls, Rebecca got the Tres Amigo, which has some spice in there. It's got some jalapenos. It's not really that spicy. Rebecca said it's not really that spicy, but it's called Tres Amigos. You see it in the description. And I got the Aburi, which she said is essentially a California roll. It has seared tuna on top. So the Aburi roll has seared tuna on top. I can't do this left-handed. I'm going to switch hands. But this is the Aburi roll. So she said essentially a California roll, but a little seared tuna up on the top of it. There you go. Not bad. It's kind of nice. The sauce up on the top. It's actually rather nice. This is the Tres Amigo. Well, you can see in the description on the screen what all is in here. There it is. Very pretty looking roll. If you're concerned about that roll being spicy, not spicy at all. If he's got some jalapeno in there, it's not a spicy one, that's for sure. And the verdict is... It's pretty good sushi, you know, not the best sushi that we've had at sea, but it is pretty good sushi. So if you have a hankering for it, especially for lunch, if you're just looking for some sushi for lunch, I would definitely recommend some, or you might use this as an appetizer before you go to dinner as well. So Ocean Terra Seafood Bar here in the Piazza on the Sky Princess. Not bad, not bad. We're enjoying it, not bad. Hey folks, Walter back on the Sky Princess and the thing I was looking forward to the absolute most coming onto this ship is the authentic gelato. So what makes this authentic? Well, Princess sent their pastry chefs to Italy or they sent somebody to Italy to learn the proper way to make gelato from the uh, Italian artisan. And just like the Italian government, you know, certifies Parmesan cheese, they uh, certify olive oil, they certify certain wines, things like that. They certified that the Sky Princess and two other princess ships makes authentic gelato in the proper way as certified by the Italian government. Now, I have been eating this all week. I haven't documented any of it yet because I've just been enjoying it too much to film. But what I've got here is a really dark chocolate and then this is a tiramisu. And let me tell you, it is so smooth. It is so creamy. It is so delicious. I don't know how much it costs. Don't ask me. I don't care. Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Oh. Mm. There is nothing like this on any other cruise ship that I've had so far. Mm. Oh, the tiramisu. Now let's put them together. Mm, 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 mm. I've had gelato on other ships. It's more like ice cream. This is so freaking creamy. This reminds me of being on Arthur Avenue in New York City, in the Bronx. The real Little Italy, not the thing that they call Little Italy that all the tourists go to. You want to go to Little Italy in New York City, you go to the Bronx, you go to Arthur Avenue. This is what, uh, what this reminds me of. This is worth booking a cruise on the Sky Princess. Getting this gelato and Alfredo's Pizzeria upstairs. What a freaking combination! This ship, you know, Princess is Italian heritage. Yeah, you could book the Sky Princess just for Alfredo's and the gelato. I'm serious, I should say that without my mouth full. I'm totally serious. Book yourself an interior cabin, I don't care. Just get on the ship, try the gelato, try the pizza. Tell me I'm wrong. I'll wait. I really should have one of those espresso macchiatos right here too. Double espresso macchiato with a slice of Alfredo's pizza. Tonight we are in the Crown Grill, which is one of the premier restaurants on the uh, Sky Princess. The menu looks amazing. We're getting some champagne prepared for the table. There's gonna be a special night. 
We're excited. We're here with Stacy and Bill. Of course, Rebecca's sitting right over here. So tonight, it is all about the Crown Grill. So when you're having a nice meal, especially at a, something like the Crown Grill, why not get yourself a little champagne and share it with the table? Cheers, everybody. Thanks so much for following along. Rebecca says, not bad. I don't know any better. It's champagne. It's good. We're at dinner. So they brought out this absolutely gorgeous, now it just looks like a nice rosemary bread, but it's actually cheese bread. Oh my God. Watch it. We just watched Stacy rip it open. Let's see what happens. Got to rip it. Oh my God. It's, it's cheese bread. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. You know what makes bread better? Cheese bread! <laughs> oh my God, yes, I love Wallace and Gromit. It's cheese, Gromit! <laughs> okay, we've not seen this bread anywhere else on the ship. Mmm. Cheese and garlic. Oh my God. Yeah, cheese, garlic, rosemary. I'll tell you what, just give me a big piece of that. <laughs> give me the steak. We'll just slice up the steak. We'll throw it into that. Right, Bill? We'll make a oh, sandwich. Yeah. We'll make a sandwich out of this cheese bread. <laughs> Oh, we're done. So book the Crown Grill and just eat the bread. Our appetizers have come out, and may I say we're having an absolutely lovely discussion about cruising, because what else is there to talk about? And especially <laughs> the cruise. But I am starting with seared uh, scallops, and they look absolutely stunning. Rebecca got a lobster cake. So Rebecca got a lobster cake. She gave it to me. I know it's really dark in here tonight, so. <laughs> You're just gonna have to see the food as good as you can, but there's the lobster cake. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh, that's amazing. That lobster cake, uh, amazing. Seared scallop appetizer. Perfect. I mean, what do you think, Bill? I think that's about as good as you cook a scallop. And the caviar in it is really fantastic. That's true. There is some caviar with the scallop. Now, I've not seen that before. You get a little caviar on there. So we got a little caviar. We got the, the seared scallop. Whoa. Great, isn't it? Mm. Totally different when you add the caviar to it. A nice little piece of puff bread here. We have to admit, Rebecca and I were not really planning to come to the Crown Grill. Bill and Stacy kind of talked us into it, and I have to say, I'm really glad they talked us into coming here. This is really, really good. So the next course is out. We've got a bunch of fun stuff on the table. We've got lobster bisque over here with Stacy, uh, Rebecca and Bill both have a salad. What's on the salad? So a house salad, Rebecca's trying not to get things on her clothes. <laughs> and I got a black and blue soup. So this is made with uh, Jack Daniels black label and it has blue cheese in it and the aroma just smells so good. It's just cheese and, oh, this is lovely. Look, uh, look at that, that cheese falling off of that. So it's like a French onion soup, but made with uh, black label Jack Daniels and blue cheese. Oh my God. That is, that is. Now you gotta like blue cheese, obviously, and I love blue cheese. I have mentioned up on the buffet, they have wheels of blue cheese, and I go nuts with that. Well, you take a French onion soup, you add some blue cheese to it, and oh my God, you've got something. Amazing. Oh my God, that is so good. Wow, look at this, look at this, look at this. You got cheese out of the yin yang. It's ridiculously hot. That is so flipping good. Black and blue soup for whatever, I don't know what course we're on. I've lost track, but it's really good. So our main courses are out and there is so much food on the table right now. Bill has the most ridiculous porterhouse I think I've ever seen. It, I can smell it from over here. It smells amazing. And he's got his baked potato and the women both have the dual lobster tails. I have surf and turf so i've got a lobster tail and i've got a filet that i asked to have cooked medium it is perfection we've also got we got mushrooms we got cream spinach we've got asparagus and we've got multiple kinds of potatoes out on the table unbelievable amount of food and the chef just came out to say hello what an amazing meal. Remember, we didn't even want to come to the Crown Grill. Bill and Stacy, thankfully, said, come on, let's go to the Crown Grill. So we're here. But the last time we went to the Crown Grill was years ago on another princess ship. We were, and we're like, eh, it's okay. Well, let me tell you, the Crown Grill on the Sky Princess, absolutely blowing us away. 
Here is the filet mignon. Mm. Then they brought out black salt and pink salt. So they have three different kinds of salt on the menu. Right now they only have two of them in stock. But he said to put the black salt on the steak. Now, I also have a lobster tail sitting right here. And he did such a beautiful job. He took the tails out of the shell for us, just laid them out for us. We've got butter sitting here. I mean, this is just a ridiculous meal. Mm, our lobster tails are perfect. I had a little pink salt on it. Now we've got the filet. Mm. Then we've got our sides, our cream spinach. That's falling out the fork. Yum. Oh, that's really good. Then we've got some mushrooms over here. Oh, dang. Mushrooms are good. Yeah, mushrooms for the win. And the steak. Mm. I think Bill is enjoying the porterhouse. Just looking at it. It's disappearing as we speak. <laughs> yeah? Very good. Oh, yeah. Bill says, oh, yeah. And then the mashed potatoes. You got to have mashed potatoes when you have a steak. A nice, fluffy mashed potatoes. Good, real mashed potatoes, right? They're real, which they should be. Okay, I have absolutely no room for dessert, but I ordered it anyway. I don't care. I'm just going to let my pants out. That's all. So I've got a triple chocolate. Uh, Rebecca has a cobbler. In fact, I think uh, Bill has cobbler too. What do you get over here, Stacy? Cheesecake over here. So that looks amazing. So my, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this. I've got the triple chocolate. I'm going to, I'm, look at that. <laughs> it's so thin, I can't even hold it. Look at that. Mmm, good dark chocolate. Yeah. And then there's macaroons on the top. Little macarons on the top. Mm. It's really good. Mmm. Even if you have no room at all, order the dessert. And now the coffee is here. Coffee makes me very happy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Triple chocolate something. Mm. Well, Rebecca said the cobbler's not bad. It's an apple cobbler. Apple apple rhubarb. Pretty nice. It could have, I don't know, it's it like something missing in the flavor. The Said Rebecca is saying that the you topping is kind of baked into the fruit rather than sitting on top. I'm going to say that the chocolate is ridiculous. So if you are on the Sky Princess and you're looking at the Crown Grill, okay, okay the Crown Grill is really, really good. This is worth every single dollar that you spend to come here. This is really, don't make the mistake I did. I had somewhat of a big lunch around, I don't know, 12, 30, 1 o'clock, and dinner here was 5.30 tonight, so don't eat anything for lunch on the day that you're coming to the Crown Grill, but Crown Grill, put it on your list, come here, have some steak, have some seafood, have some chocolate dessert, you will be happy.